Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the laws of matrices. Now, there's actually a wealth of laws regarding matrices, and so we're going to talk about a few just to kind of uh, give you an idea as to how matrices can be related to, you know, standard algebraic expressions, but not all the time. So here's, here's a few demonstrations for you. Now, first and foremost, with matrices, they're often denoted by uh, capital letters. So you're talking about A, B, and capital C. And so when you're talking about matrices in terms of certain laws, let's look at addition. Addition is probably the most straightforward out of the operations in that if you have two matrices added together, A plus B, that's going to equal to B plus A. That's the commutative property of addition. Now with associative, you can think of A plus B plus C, that's going to equal, or the B plus C is in parentheses, that's equal to A plus B in parentheses plus C as well. Now, multiplication is a little bit different, but let's look at the distributive property, where the distributive property, where you have matrices, matrix A times B, matrices B plus C added together, that's actually going to be AB plus AC. Now, matrix multiplication is a little more delicate, so let's move on to uh, other laws. If you have the zero matrix, where zero times A, that's going to give you the zero matrix again. And if you have an identity matrix, IA, that's going to give you the matrix A back. So there's a lot of matrix laws out there. It's just a question of finding what all of them are, but there's, and there's really too numerous to mention, but here are just a few illustrations as to how the laws of matrices works. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief glimpse into the laws of matrices.